It's a terror morph. I think we need to get out of here. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, it's over this way. The gnat. Let's head to the spaceport. Oh, bye. I've flown across most of the seven systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the nat. <laughs> well, we all have our weaknesses. Come on, let's keep moving. Oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? What mm. statue? I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Oh, this thing here. It's all right. Terraforming is a more important advanced You know, I didn't even notice it, to be honest. You see that scientist out in front of Mast? Staring at Security you. scanners, chemical snippers. Mm. United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Talk to the scientist by the tree. Well, that's that'll have to be for another time. So, what is this? This is an. This is not my ship. Pull it for leeches, get it fixed up, and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Yes, sir. Crew chief? Ah, you are new probationary then? Yes. Crew chief Herat, pleasure to be working with you. I'm Hill. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? Anything you can tell me about Tau Seti too? I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your record. Report they gave us seemed clean, no known hostile outposts. But I wouldn't say that's permission to let your guard down. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. What exactly are you putting on my ship? Nothing too dangerous, if that's your concern. The repair suite's mostly just wiring and circuit boards. The welcome kit has some goodies in there I wouldn't leave sitting around when company comes to visit. But it's nothing some proper storage can't make safe. All right, then I'm all set. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit. So, this is not my ship. All right, we'll head to the frontier. There it is. Come on, let's go. That's what I say, two birds with one stone. Let's help these people out and then we'll search for your artifact. But wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Don't we need to talk to somebody here first? Hang on. Ask about is there somebody here okay no there's nobody here we need to talk to all right everything leads to the ship I know I need some uh, bullets. I think I'm just gonna just rely on my cutter and I think I have a rescue ax. It 
So I can't have Vasco. It's just you now. Let me see, did these med kits restock? The amp? No. Nothing. It's change of scenery. Check out my, s my inventory. Make yourself at home. I'm sure you're familiar with this ship. Um, I can't remember how to check the inventory. stuff I put here. A, a battle meal. Okay. Oh, a suppressed urban eagle. I mean, am I allowed to take these things? Well, you know I am. <laughs> Med packs. know I guess I just wouldn't what 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 uh, caliber of gun that this uh, is for oh, let's see inspect huh. you know what what good is an inspection I don't need a picture I need a description all right Sarah Prepare yourself for liftoff. All right, we're going to Tau City first. Just change my mind again. All right, here we go. Initiating liftoff. center. Is that what we're looking for? I thought there was another way to scan this. I guess we're just going to head here to the Gourmet Production Center. 
All right, stand by. We're about to land. Seems pleasant enough. Um, you know, I always think when we go on, land on an alien planet that I'm gonna need a spacesuit, and I don't like that I can't tell if I need it or not. Come on, let's go. I'm going without it. Hopefully, I will be warned. Wonder how an abandoned meat packing facility built on the fringes of the settled systems. I wonder what happened here. Seems like I can breathe. Come on. Is this a ship? like some sort of turret. It is a turret. A solstice. I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to take it and look at it in my inventory later. An abandoned meat packing facility built on the fringes of the settled systems. I wonder what happened here. Hmm. And this is not our destination, but let's check this out and see what's here. Something's been through here recently, but left everything in place. Oh, no. At least we know it wasn't the Crimson Fleet. Don't tell me. It's probably a terror morph. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, is this a... Ah, oh, it's an AM. efficiency attire. We are going to be out of luck, Sarah, if it is a Terramorph, because I don't have ammunition. I barely defeated the first one that I encountered. Oh, that's exactly what it is. It's a terror morph. I think we need to get out of here. Oh, boy. Prepare to run back to the ship. Either I got hit harder than I thought, or you've got some incredible timing. Regardless, I think it knows you're here. I'll yep. unlock the door. Second floor, main building. But be quiet. But I have a feeling she has our best interests in mind. We should do what she suggests. You really should get out of here. I hope she's got some weapon. 
Weapons, a bullet, something. Come on up here. You. So what do we got here? Too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Actually, the Vanguard sent me, though they failed to mention how bad things were. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. Yeah, I knew it. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths I with. I knew it. And Why this me? one, well, Why? It's something of an anomaly. Anomaly? Possibly a worrying one. Really? I can't believe that a terramorph did all this damage. Oh, believe it, I mean, it, I've girl, heard the stories, it. but to see the decimation firsthand. Yeah. Have you actually seen a terramorph? You know what those things look like? All right, anyway. You know, I'm not exactly equipped to deal with a killer alien. I'm really low on ammo. <laughs> Makes two of us. Mm. But this creature, I need to understand what it's doing here. To do that requires a tissue sample from it, and to get a sample, of course. I need its corpse. Of course you do. But we're not without resources. This plant, it's got an automated security system. Though getting things online, as I've discovered, is not a one-person job. The admin terminal in this building needs its connection reset. And to do that, someone has to get to the security outpost across the compound. Not a far walk, but a risky one. You think you might be willing to lend me a hand? <laughs> whoa, whoa. I came here to help some settlers not play chew toy to a terramorph. Look, I wouldn't be asking if I thought there was any chance I could handle it by myself. But there's no way I'm getting these defenses live on my own. And I have to get to the bottom of what happened here. All right, then. What can you tell me about this security system? The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appeared to be in fighting shape. There were also some sensors scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. But those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset. Where can I find the security outpost? It's the building in the middle of the facility. The terminal in there should allow you to grant me access to the system as a whole. Then we can see about getting things back online. All right, let's get that security system back online. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there, and make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. Mm. Can you believe this? A digipick, that's all. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, I told you we should have got back on the ship. A lemon. So, I guess that's the security area over there. I better put my suit on. I'm gonna need my boost back. Yep. 
Here we go. The new suit that I got from the Constellation team, thanks to Sarah over there. That's not going to work. And I got myself completely stuck. safely I can try to be cautious Seeing a meat packing facility from the inside is starting to make me feel like I should switch to becoming a vegetarian. system is offline. What about the automated defenses? Damaged. Hmm, equipment drop. Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating, but I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Hello. I wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. But it's not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. Okay, I think we're finally ready to give this a real test. The frequency needs to be calibrated to the size of the stock, though so will need to get some general measurements of the creatures once they arrive. But if this works, it could mean a new era in an open range farming. We'll be able to function without fences, true free range. We're gonna make so much damn money. Well, how do I turn the system on? Sarah, you know how to do this. So here we are, stuck again. I mean, this is where I need to be, but what else is there for me to turn on? Livestock. 
Oh, now it works. Oh my goodness, I forgot what she said now. That Damaged or something? <laughs> I don't know. It's just how it seems to be working.
clothes. Wait, it's dead already? <laughs> okay. I didn't even finish uh, what I was doing. If you're searching, then make it quick. All right, it's done. Okay. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... It's not Wait. hiding. You did it, didn't you? Somehow. Elephants above, you just flatlined a terror morph. Yes, it's my second one. It's all taken care of. But I believe the words you're looking for are thank you for saving my ass. I'm not too proud. Thank you for saving my ass. That's better. You didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? Wh wh who do you think I am? Here you go. All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. Wait, there's more? I thought I was done here. I really thought I was gonna come here and take on some pirates or spacers or some something, not not terramorphs. <sighs> Older model. Yeah, let's see what you can do. Running basic diagnostics? Nothing. Maybe a flax kit? No. Spectrograph. Damn. This equipment? It's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. Terramorphs have taken down other colonies. They have. They even took down an entire city once. A place called Londinian had oh, to be yeah. quarantined due to a massive outbreak during the colony I war. I think that was in the, the it's museum. It's the only known loss of thing. that scale, but it's the reason why any change in our relationship with these creatures needs to be taken very seriously. How does no one know how terramorphs get onto human worlds? Aren't they kind of hard to miss? 
Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's oh, able to evade our detection. Wow. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. Mm, I bet. Well, it sounds like we need to do something. Quick. You're right. We just need more information first. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Sounds Clear like it with a good your commander idea. first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. I'm curious why my commander would know who you are. Are you with the UC military? I was. Long time ago. Family tradition. But I know some of the folks from my old unit moved into the Vanguard. A couple even owe me favors. If I'm lucky, your commander is one of them. All right, well, I'll make sure my commander agrees. He seems like a pretty decent fellow. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia, bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here. It's not a lot, but you've definitely earned it. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. All right. Sidonia isn't that where we need to be going anyway, Sarah. All right, good luck. We are, we're, we're gonna look into this. Come on. All right, well, I got, oh, I gotta get to the ship, not to him. If we can see it. We're accounted for. We're ready to depart. All right, then, stand by for takeoff. Initiating liftoff.
Oh, here we go. We'll land here. this way, Sarah. Commander? Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the Vanguard whenever you're ready. Okay. I, I need to ask you this question, because the, the girl that was over there at the desk didn't seem to have the right answers. This building is called MAST, right? What kind of name is that? MAST is short for Military yeah, Administrative yes. and Scientific Triumvirate. Triumvirate, I like here, that. The three co-equal divisions of the UC government work together to advance the cause of the colonies. Be that through mutual defense, political and diplomatic strength, or scientific discovery. Now, serving any of the UC's divisions grants citizenship, but scientific and admin positions in the UC tend to be real competitive. Understandable, most people will prefer to earn their citizenship behind a desk rather than in combat. Not something I'd ever choose for myself, but understandable. Okay. I really appreciate that answer. Um, before I get to the business at hand, I'm curious, how long have you been with the Vanguard? Me? Six, seven years now? Okay. Was a recon squad commander in a former life, so it wasn't too big a jump bossing around foreign pilots instead. But Vanguard's been a quality assignment. Meet new people, judge them on a series of diverse criteria, get them out there helping people who need it. All right, I appreciate that. Why does the UC need foreign pilots to fly for them? The military used to have a pretty narrow view of where the best pilots came from. In their eyes, it was UC or bust. The creation of the Vanguard was an acknowledgement by the brass that maybe not all the galaxy's greatest pilots went through a UC flight school. So it's the Vanguard's job to find them and get them to fly for us. Okay, now, for the business at hand, I need your permission to deliver a Terramorph tissue sample to Mars. A terror? What? How did you walk away with the Terramorph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? Oh, do you really want to know? Um... Hmm. Um, well, things didn't go as advertised. Only one was alive. It was a, a researcher we found who gave me a sample and a gene tag. A gene tag? Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. I was hoping you would. Let me check the database. Uh-oh. Huh. A lot of this data's been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as co-head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Oh boy. Faced tribunal at the end of the Colony War. It was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno Warfare though, well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. Xeno Warfare doesn't sound good. I'm sure she doesn't list it at the top of her resume. But considering her service record and her area of expertise, I'm not seeing a reason to think this request is anything other than genuine. Did your survivor, Hadrian, did she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? She's afraid there could be more attacks like the one that wiped out the people of Tau Ceti. She thinks there could be more of these? Yes. This, 
uh, has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. Yeah, I got I did actually have another mission lined up for you, supporting UC system defense against the Crimson Fleet. But now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out SysDef, or deliver that sample. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I'd suggest you move out. Whoa. Sarah, we got some decisions to make. He said something about infiltrating the Crimson Fleet. Let's just look at these missions. Ask about Percival at the Trade Authority. Proceed to the UC Vigilance. Infiltrate the Crimson Fleet. I mean, I wonder if I can come back and, and infiltrate it later. Because I really think we need to look after this Terramorph crisis. All right, let's go.